Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. Today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me video, but there is going to be a variety of different things in today's video. Not only will I be cleaning, I'll also be working on laundry, prepping for a trip and starting to pack, showing you some of the items that I got for that trip also doing some cooking and baking. So I hope that you enjoy today's video and hopefully it can just give you a lot of cleaning motivation and inspiration today. Here at the beginning of the video, as usual, I'm showing you what the house is looking like before we get started cleaning. The boys' bedroom was pretty messy, but they are going to get started on cleaning that while I get started cleaning Levi's room. So I'm just trying to get things back to normal in the house, get all of the laundry done before I start prepping for another trip and packing. We did just go on a trip last month to visit family and to work on a project at my mom's house, but now we are going to go on a week long fun family vacation adventure. We're really excited about this trip. It's something we've been wanting to do for about two years now, and we're finally going to leave for that trip next week, so really exciting. We are going to be doing a lot of hiking and exploring on this trip, so I do have some items that I got for that that I want to share with you, so stay tuned. But but here I was trying to go through this pile of clothes on top of Levi's dresser, putting some in the drawer and then setting some aside that I'll be packing for the trip. I'm also going around and gathering all of the laundry that I can find. That way I will be caught up on all the laundry before I start packing. And I also wanted to add that by the time this cleaning video goes live, the video about our trip will probably already be live. So that will be the previous video on my channel. You can go back and watch that video if you want to see our trip and everything that we did. So the link for that video will be down below if you haven't seen it yet and you want to go and watch it after this video. So I am doing a giveaway in today's video. I want to start putting more random giveaways in my videos, especially here as we're getting closer to the end of the year, just as a way to say thank you to you guys for watching my videos and supporting my channel. So in today's video, I'm giving away a $50 Amazon gift card to one of you so that you can buy some cleaning products for your home or household supplies, whatever you're in need of. You can use that gift card for those items. The details of how to enter that giveaway will be typed up here on the screen and then I'll also have all of the details down below and in the comment section. Now that the laundry is started, I'm just getting the boys started with their homeschooling because Jalen was doing some work and once he finished that work then he was going to finish the homeschooling. He does work from home as well so we are able to tag team the homeschooling which is really nice. The curriculum that we're using is the good and the beautiful curriculum and we've been loving it. So far this school year has been going great and hopefully it continues to go well. So now I am going to start supper because I'm making chili for supper. So I need to get the beans cooking in the crock pot. That way they are done cooking by supper time and I can piece together that chili. So instead of buying my beans canned, I just buy them dry. And some of these are from Azure Standard. And then the pinto beans I do get in like a 25, 30 pound bag from a local farm. So I've got my mixture of black beans, kidney beans, and pinto beans in that little crock pot. And they will cook all day until I'm ready to make supper. For lunch today, we'll probably just have something easy out of the fridge maybe leftovers, something like that, and then we'll do the chili for supper. Mm -hmm. 
Lately, my favorite way to clean the kitchen countertops is to use a scrub mommy. If there's a lot of crumbs and stuff on the counter, I'll just quickly wipe it off with a washcloth and then I will suds up a scrub mommy with some dish soap and then use that to clean the countertops, the stove, I'll clean the sink with this and it is dual sided so one side is like a soft sponge and then the other side is more of a scrubber and it is scratch free so it doesn't scratch my countertops or the stove. I've just really been loving it. Now I'm working on these dishes and then I'll be scrubbing the sink and Kyle was helping me to empty the dishwasher and once that was loaded up after it was empty, now I'm going to scrub the sink. I'm gonna use the Scrub Mommy with dish soap and then also use my little Rubbermaid battery powered scrubber. That thing has been so handy. I'll have the link for it down below. It's just great for getting in all of those hard to get places little cracks and crevices of your sink or in the shower around your faucets. It's just a great tool to have in my cleaning closet. So now the sink is looking much better, nice and shiny and clean. And now I'm working on the rest of my stainless steel appliances, the front of the dishwasher, the sink, the trash can, all of that. The shoes that I'm wearing in this video, I found at Marshalls a couple of weeks ago for only $20. And I've been wanting to get a pair of sneakers that are only for wearing in the house. Like I don't wear them outside of the house. That way they stay clean and they are just for wearing inside the house. Because when I'm on my feet all day, cleaning, whatever around the house, my feet and legs kill me by the end of the day. So I wanted to have some shoes that I could wear when I'm cleaning all day. So now the kitchen is clean and I'm going to go around and take care of all of my plants before we leave. Most of these plants I only water about every two weeks. So I just let the soil completely dry up and then I will give them a good soaking every two weeks and that seems to work out pretty well. I thought I would share what our daily cleaning routine looks like most days. It's definitely a family effort to keep the house tidied up each day and doesn't always happen every day, but what has been really helpful has been a family tidy up before the kids go to bed. So before we get the kids ready for bed, we will all run around and clean up for however long we can. Sometimes it's only five minutes, sometimes it's 20 minutes, but if you can just do a quick 20 minute tidy up together before the kids go to bed, it can make such a difference. So I'll give you an example of what each of us will be cleaning. I'll have Kyle tidy up the living room while Owen is picking up their bedroom. Jalen will be washing the dishes while I'm cleaning up the rest of the kitchen. If the boys have any coloring stuff on the table in the dining room, they'll put that away. We'll just try to get everything picked up as quickly as we can. And setting a timer might be helpful as well to just set a timer for 20 minutes and then just clean up as much as you can in that 20 minutes. Or you can just be cleaning up as you can in the evening and as you're making supper, try to be washing the dishes as you go so there isn't so many. Throughout the day after each meal, we do try to just clear things off the counter and put them in the sink 
and then at the end of the day we wash the dishes from that day and load the dishwasher it's nice to wake up to a semi clean house in the morning or at least just a clean kitchen it helps your day to go so much better but of course there are so many days where we do wake up to a messy house and i have to clean it up in the morning like i'm doing on this day we don't stick to a routine every single day but just doing that tidy up before bed and also just trying to tidy as you go throughout the day can help to maintain the house like when i walk into my office to work for a couple of hours before I start working, I'll just quickly pick up the office and tidy it up and then sit down and work. Or if you walk into your bathroom and there's stuff out on the counter, just put that away before you leave. It only takes like a minute. And also just trying to put things away as soon as you get them out is of course really helpful. Making the bed as soon as you wake up in the morning will help to kickstart your day. But yeah, it's definitely a struggle to keep a house clean, especially when you have kids and it's just life. But just trying to pick up throughout the day can definitely make things a lot easier. And another tip, don't mop the floors until the house is empty. Usually the best time to mop the floor is right after the kids go to bed. Or like right now, the boys had just gone outside to play. Levi was down for a nap. So this was the perfect time to mop the floor. And I'm using my O Cedar mop that I've had for years. I bought this off of Amazon and I do have a couple of extra mop heads for this mop. That's really nice because you can just throw one in the washer and then you have another one in the cleaning closet. And I had a little bit of floor cleaner to use up. So I just dumped that into the mop bucket and then added a little bit of dish soap and then just filled it the rest of the way up with hot water. But my favorite combination for cleaning the floors is to just put a little bit of dish soap into the mop bucket, some white vinegar, and then fill it up the rest of the way with hot water. That's a great natural way to clean your floors. It does a great job. You don't have to buy any floor cleaner, and that is what I usually use on my floors. I thought I would show you a few of the things that I recently ordered for our trip and these are also items that we can use in the years to come. So this first one is a baby backpack carrier. This is for Levi and we can use this for several more years. We go on a lot of adventures and hiking here in Arizona, so we'll definitely be using this a lot, but we'll be using this for the first time on our trip coming up here to the Northwest. I was very impressed with this backpack carrier. I feel like it's kind of a dupe for the Osprey backpack carrier, but yet it's only half the price. It's got a lot of neat features, and what I love is that when you put it on your back with the old backpack carrier that we used to have that recently broke, it felt like you were just carrying your baby with the shoulder straps, but with this carrier, you can feel that it is the waist belt that's actually supporting the baby, and it's really comfortable. It's got like a little sun cover, rain cover that will pull up. It's got lots of pockets for storage, so we don't have to take a backpack as well. We'll definitely get a lot of use out of this, and then I also got him a travel pack and play. So this is a smaller pack and play that folds up into a nice size. It's got a little carrier bag. 
So we can just take this as a carry-on onto the airplane and we'll definitely use this on a lot of trips in the coming years. And then the third item that I'm showing you here is this cute little um, like hooded sweatpants set that I got from Walmart. It was only $11.97 for the shirt and the pants together super soft really cute i love the color i think they had about three different colors so i will link it down below hopefully they're still on sale but they are just super cute i might get him the next size as well for this winter I'm just getting our bedroom tidied up and also starting to collect items that I'm going to pack. I wanted to show you a few more of those items here. These are the boys' little travel camping pillows. Got those from Amazon. I'll link them down below. And then Levi's little shoes are also from Amazon. I love these moccasins. He's had about three pairs of them so far and they're just really comfortable and a great first shoe for your baby or toddler. He was also needing another pair of pants and I found these at Walmart for about 10 or $11. They're the Wonder Nation brand and they just fit him perfectly. They're really soft. They feel like good quality. So I'll link those as well. I also got a blackout cover for his pack and play, but just trying to collect all of these items into one area. When I'm packing I try to collect everything into one spot just to make it a little bit easier so usually in the corner of our bedroom I'll gather all of the suitcases the travel bags the backpacks the baby carrier the pack and play all of those items into one spot and then I'll go to each room and start collecting everything that I'll be packing so I'll go into Levi's room get everything from his room that I'm going to pack bring it to the area where I'm packing all the items then go to the boys bedroom Room and collect everything and then get everything from our bedroom and I did actually start packing on this day and putting items into the suitcases and then I stopped and I was like I am not ready to start packing yet I'm gonna wait a couple more days and just put all of these items that I've collected so far into one area for when I pack I decided to collect everything here at the front door just so there wasn't so much stuff stacking up in our bedroom. Kyle was needing a new pair of hiking shoes and I found these on Amazon for a really good price. I think they were right around $30 and then they have a couple of different colors and styles of these. They seem like they're going to be good quality and then I'm also packing the boys little camelback mini mules. I got these off of Amazon and they are also going to be great for any hiking or adventures that we do in Arizona but they'll be using them for the first time on our trip next week. So these mini mules are basically like a water bag inside this little backpack and then you've got the straw that comes around so you don't have to carry a water bottle with you when you're hiking. And then the bag also has enough room for their snacks as well. So now I'm gonna bake some chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. It has been a while since I baked cookies and I wanted to make some for the boys. So I'm getting those mixed up and put in the oven. I found this recipe on Pinterest and they turned out delicious so I will link it down below.
while the cookies are baking, I'm going to start cooking the chili. So I got out my made in Dutch oven. This is always fun to use when I'm making soup and I'm going to be starting to make a lot of soup now that we're getting into fall and winter. Even though it doesn't feel like fall yet here in Arizona, I think we're still hitting close to a hundred every single day. So hopefully it starts feeling like fall soon, but I'm going to go ahead and start making soups. So the soup that I'm making today, like I said, is chili. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my ground beef cooking in the Dutch oven and our beans are done cooking in the crock pot. So we'll add those to the beef here in a second. Okay, so the cookies are done and I'm going to let that chili simmer for a little over an hour. And while that chili is simmering, I'm going to do some tidying up in the boy's bedroom, just trying to get some of the clutter cleaned up on their dresser, over by their closet. And while I'm working here in their bedroom playroom, I'll go ahead and answer a few frequently asked questions about this room. So starting off that toy storage container with all of the little plastic drawers is from Ikea. I wish that the drawers would stay on the track a little bit easier. Sometimes those little top drawers will come off the top track and you have to pop them back in, especially when Levi is pulling on them. But other than that, they've worked out great and they're just perfect for toy storage. The wallpaper is from Wall Blush. The boy's dresser is from Article. If they still have these items in stock, I will link everything down below. Their bunk bed is from Amazon. Their bedding is from Betty's Bedding and that is zipper bedding. So it's kind of like a sleeping bag, but yet it is a sheet comforter fitted sheet all in one and it's really cozy, been perfect for the kids. Their curtains are from Lowe's, their rug is from Boutique Rugs, their Lego table is from Article and the chairs are from Article and also that little basketball net is from Amazon. We just bought the net and the rim and then we attached it to some pieces of wood as a backboard and put it over here on the wall. It was a super easy DIY and a great addition to their playroom. I hope you enjoyed today's whole house clean with me video and the packing, the baking, cooking, trip prep, everything. If you enjoyed it, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. And also as a reminder, if you want to see the video of our trip and how we lived as a family of five in a camper for over a week traveling in the Northwest, be sure that you go back and watch the previous video on my channel. And thank you all so much for watching today and supporting my channel. We appreciate each of you so much and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.